Hello everyone, Joy here and uh, welcome to a short video where I talk about the first album that I ever bought and it is this one. Power Rangers The Album A Rock Adventure. I know, I know what you're thinking. This sounds kind of sad. But actually, it's pretty great. So, allow me to set the scene a little bit. 1993, Power Rangers hits TV screens and I... Was I seven or eight? I don't know. Around then. I am a massive fan from the very start. I, I, it was my big obsession of the time. And Power Rangers meant so, so much to me. As you can see, I bought the DVD box set and I'm fucking loving it. So, what does that have to do with the album? Well, I bought the album when it came out in 1994 uh, because of being a Power Rangers fan. I want to talk a little bit about the memories associated with that and why it's so important to me now. So I had a little Walkman, because, hello, cassette tape, Walkman. I'm a 90s kid, right? Um, and it, it was a very special Walkman. It had a like on the front face uh, where you open it up, it actually had a like LCD screen game on it called The War, which was basically a monochrome knockoff of Tetris. And it did not have the Tetris music or anything like that, but you add your own music because you listen to the Walkman at the same time. So here's me at, you know, eight, nine, ten years old, listening to this music, playing this game. It, you know, mid nineties, life was fucking sweet. So looking back on this now and rediscovering it now, what does it mean to me? Well, The music is actually fucking awesome. Like even by today's standards of things that I listen to, I can see influences here that have stuck with me for a long time in terms of like things that I like, rock, metal, goth, you know, that love started with this. And <laughs> I wouldn't enjoy the things I do, if not at least in part, because of this album. So let's talk a little bit about it. Obviously, it's got the Go Go Power Rangers song on it. It actually has three different versions of that. A long version, a TV version, short, and a single version, which, oh my god, looking back at this and remembering... Fuck, yeah, there was a single as well. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Um, I am going to put in the description of this video a link to uh, someone who's been kind enough to upload it to YouTube so that you can experience it the way I did. And this is the version with voice clips from the TV show. And the music that's on here was used in the TV show, actually to a really good effect, in all of the action sequences. And I'll tell you why. So, the music, a lot of the songs have very heavy, chuggy, electric guitar riffs. There's the quick, frenetic, like, tappy, high note music as well. There's the... the singing is actually really powerful and really like technically really great. 
Obviously it's been like treated and coursed and everything like that, but it's still... Basically, it would not be out of place to hear some songs from this at an actual metal gig. So, obviously, minus the Power Rangers song itself, and also stuff like Go Green Ranger Go and White Ranger Tiger Power, the rest of the songs kind of make sense without any context. And it's just really good music, really energetic, thumpy, like, chuggy metal. Like, you know, metal for kids, but still metal. And there is, of course, one exception. The uh, Lord Zed track. That is basically just an ominous, scary-ass, dark, like, theme for one of the major villains in the, in the show. And Lord Zed was basically the scariest thing on 90s kids TV. Uh, <laughs> he was like the Darth Vader of the Power Rangers universe. And basically, you know you've made it as a supervillain when your theme song is a chorus of whispers, you know, chanting your name. So that's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to share with you. That this album, please go give it a listen. It's really damn good, even after, oh my god, nearly 30 years. <laughs> it's, it's still just, the songs still pack a lot of punch. They have a hell of a lot of nostalgic meaning for me, of course, and all the other 90s kids who were into Power Rangers. And... The music fucking slaps. It just does. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was my review. Please, join me again next time where I'll be talking about, uh, uh music that's less to my taste. Bye. Non-binary is valid. God damn it.